happening? Hi, my name is London. <laughs> and I'm Wyatt. Who's Wyatt? Steven couldn't make it today. <laughs> there is the humongous cliff that we climbed down. If you get stuck in that, you're dead. But well, London's sick, so Wyatt's here instead. I'm actually Wyatt, not London, just in case you didn't realize that. Yep. And Wyatt is getting married in a month, so this is kind of part of his bachelor party-ish. And nobody showed up. <laughs> Except for the monkey. So we are going to... Cape Lookout Trail. Cape Lookout Trail. Which is going to be a five mile hike, which is going to be exhausting because we went to a gym a few days ago and then we had the actual bachelor party last night. We didn't get home till like 3.30 in the morning and I woke up at 8 I woke or up 9. at 1 p.m. Wow. I'm going to die. We're going to eat some cookie dough on the drive. Are you ready? I am always ready. One does not just become ready, one has to be ready. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Whale watching spoken here. Spoken. Interesting. Ew. Uh, I guess they're all gross. No, no, get out, get out of here. <laughs> Someone had their phone number on the wall and said call me. Did you call the number? No. <laughs> Why not? Because that's weird. It's weird to call a number you find in the restroom. Yeah, I can't encourage that type of behavior. I don't think so. I think it's perfectly acceptable. Do you want to do it? I think you should and record it, but only you call it. Okay, what are the, what are the odds? <laughs> this, is, this, is for, this is for you. For, for me? Yeah. Uh, one in 10? Okay. Three, two, one, five. Six. Let's let's have it and then but then, and then, and then for I you? have to do it and then we have again it for you. <laughs> okay, so out of five, three, two, one, five. Three. Darn it! Three, two, one, one. one. Darn it! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! We don't even have the phone number. <laughs> we'll get it on the way back. Okay, we'll we'll call the mystery bathroom phone number on the way back. I just realized that I was like I didn't take a picture with her or anything, so. Just look how high we are. I'm not high, Steven. I do not take <laughs> drugs. I do not support that. But no, look. Look, there's the, the, the ocean down there. Ooh, you can dive into that. Dive. If you could run fast <laughs> enough, you might be able to jump and make it all the way to the water. Yeah. I mean, what if, you're, you try it? if you're the Flash, no. <laughs> 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 there's a 100% chance that would result in me getting injured, so. <laughs> Actually, I'm from California right now. I don't have a jacket. Nice. Granted, it's like, I don't know, probably low 60s. Yeah. Which isn't that bad. But if we do jump in the water, it's gonna suck. <laughs> We'd have to find another place. So remember the elevation is 850 feet above sea level. So that'd be 850 foot cliff jump. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> to get to the ocean. <laughs> that's enough time to do at least 20 flips. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> you don't think they can do 20 you would, flips in 800 Yeah, because you would start slowing down and the air resistance would stop you. Um, you'd, only, you'd probably only get to like 7 or 8. You might only get to 7 or 8, but I would get to 20. Okay. I would get a little fan to like keep pushing, so I'll like jump, like turn the fan on, puck really tight and hold the fan out and it'll like push the air so it keeps me spinning. So there's this thing that you do when you're making videos of B-roll and it's basically all like the cinematic stuff in between. You should do some of that right now. It's a nice view. This is actually like really, this is really, really nice because it's literally like a cloud, like where the ocean is, because we're hot above it. You can see the mountains in the distance. Dang, that's nice. Dude, that's so cool. And look at that. Look at that cliff face over there. Look 
at that view. Dude, it's just a straight cliff. Oh my, what the fuck far down is that? Steven is standing right where I peed. <laughs> Ew, really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Look at that cliff. Isn't that so, that's so cool. The sun is out and we are above the clouds. And then the mountains in the distance. Dude, can you imagine, can you imagine uh, paragliding off this thing? Oh, that'd be beautiful. Oh my goodness. Just into the cloud. <laughs> That kind of be sketchy because you don't know what's underneath the cloud. <laughs> but dude, if we ever if we ever want to learn to climb cliffs, but you can hear the ocean underneath us, but you just can't see it. It's just a giant cloud in the way. Now we're here to take control over your body and over your soul. We're gonna take back everything and lose it all, lose it all, lose it all. I don't know, Steven's hurt. Quick! Help Steven! Steven's hurt! Steven needs CPR! I don't know. Steven needs CPR! That, it's so slippery. Hold this. This is Sparta! <laughs> Exploration. Expl oh, look, a tree. Never seen a tree before. Oh, jinx, jinx, jinx. <laughs> uh, exploration. <laughs> he asked me to point it at myself while I talk. But well, now, instead of looking at beautiful trees, you gotta look at this ugly mug. London can tell stories. Stephen can tell quick anecdotes that put an entire family of sheep asleep. Stephen, tell a story. Once upon a time, there lived a wild creature in the mud. No, oh God! <laughs> <sighs> story time with Wyatt. So, I'm gonna tell you a story. A grand story, a great story. One that will make you cry. One that will make you fall in love. <laughs> One that will make you wish you didn't fall in love. <laughs> this is the story of a, well, this is a very appropriate time story of how I met an awesome, amazing, beautiful, love of my life named Christina. Oh, I? Yeah, I know. Sometimes you tell a good story, you just have to tell a true one. Listen to this. Those are birds. It's not like they're dying. Whoa. If I throw this rock, do you think it'll hit the water? No. No. <laughs> I didn't hear anything. <laughs> I didn't either. I was expecting to hear something. At least hit the cliff, you know? Yeah. Okay. I have an idea. Are you going to climb that? The intense tree climb view of the world. Going higher? Yeah. You want me to take a camera? So there's only one way to film and climb at the same time. <laughs> so we climbed a tree, oh, the wow. end of the trail. So this is a tree branch that got hit by lightning <laughs> and burnt down. This right here is literally the top of the tree. The only branch higher than the branch that we're on is the branch right behind me, which goes up that high, but it's too thin to climb. Can you imagine getting a drone shot by like, zooming out of you inside the tree? Oh yeah. While we're climbing up there, one of the feet of the camera fell off, which is not a good thing. It almost fell and was irretrievable. Anytime you're climbing a gigantic tree on top of an even larger cliff, Gotta make sure just to go slow, take your time, be very methodical in your movement. Back to the main overlook. Because we're the only ones here, I'm gonna do something that you should never do. Breaking the law. 
So these fences are here. Breaking the law. Because people die. People die like this. Could you imagine climbing down this though? Like without a rope? No. Well, I would do it with a rope. It honestly wouldn't be that hard to climb down and so you could do it without a rope. Yeah. But I am not that brave. I am. <laughs> oh my goodness. Because we're dangerous. This is real. So this would be really fun to rock climb. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. Like that. Oh, so nice. We're technically not supposed to go down this way, but we are. Look at that over there, but. You know, like just standing here. <laughs> Careful here. The loose gravel is really loose. So be very careful on every step. Okay. And we're also coming up to another cliff. <laughs> Wait till I get this way before we climb down right here. Okay. Because you saw the rock that came down. So we're standing on the cliff right now. Same. That's straight down. Climbed him all the way up there. Are you good getting through that part or do you need a hand? No, I think I'm fine. Yeah, I'll say it's one of those things I think isn't too bad with one hand, but if I have two hands, I'm using two hands. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, yeah, think, careful here. I don't think there's really any animals that hang out way out here. Mm -hmm. It's getting quieter, even though we're getting close to the ocean. It's kind of weird. It's a bird. Here. This is fun. Mm -hmm. It's adventurous. As London, I would be complaining right now. I don't even know if London would climb down this cliff. Are you glad we chose this hike? Yeah. I am. So if we get down all the way, are we putting swim trunks on and jumping in? Yeah, just a four mile swim back. Yeah, uh, maybe you could do that with your like, life training, but too bad. I think I'd die of hypothermia before I got all the way back. This is getting kind of steep. How close to the water do you think we'll get? Don't die, Steven. What do we do if we find a dead body down here? You know, I don't know. Join it. Keep going. Maybe we do get all the way down with rocks. That's what you were wanting, isn't it? I thought it was hypothetical. Those are the rocks we're talking about. Yeah, but it's only like, it's like 100 feet. Yeah, yeah. we've already gone down farther than that. Yeah. Right, keep going. That way looks sketchier, so go to the right. That way looks sketchier? To me? Loose gravel and st this, steep. This, this one looks cheaper. Yeah, but this isn't loose gravel. This is this just a. Ends. Yeah, I would say this oh, is. No, it keeps those. Trail and then ends in rock cliff. Let's get to that point and we'll reevaluate there. <laughs> we'll reevaluate our life decisions. <laughs> Should I have oh, gone like, to college? <laughs> I'm not sliding down this. Yeah. The birds sure think it's easy. Oh, I wish I was a bird. Much wow. Mini impress. Mini impress. That looks like we can keep going, so we keep going. <laughs> we can't even see the cliff we came from anymore. This is what it's like to live a life full of adventure. Is this what you want? This, you want to be careful just because we don't have, it's an easy way down, but it's all loose gravel right there. Woo! Look at that. You see all the way down to the water yeah. where, where we're going to fall. What? We're not gonna fall. Can you imagine this entire, that all those rocks down there, we were on them, we did, they all just collapsed. That would be sucky. So this is much further than I thought we were gonna get. Yeah. <laughs> Cause it looks like really treacherous from above. <laughs> I mean, I think the reality is it is actually pretty treacherous. Here, you wanna take camera? <laughs> yeah, we might be at a stopping point. Because this next part actually looks pretty hard. Oh. Grab that. Go on this way. Okay. Look at the way I want to look at this thing. Okay. That's doable, but hard. This is climbing over the ledge getting down, and that's going to be meh. Well, I think this would be easy to get down. I don't know if getting up might. Getting up's not going to be hard. As long as you have grip the whole way. Yeah. That bird's heading straight for us. It just pooped. <laughs> <laughs> we should poop on us. <laughs> if we go that way, it'll just be a matter of getting down there, down. And we're kind of good from there to get to the rest of the rock. Yeah, the bird went straight to the landmass to poop because it didn't want to contaminate the ocean. Do you want to try it or? I'll try it. If it gets too sketchy, yeah. we can just turn around. What I'm going to do. You're going to go down the sketchy way? No, this way. 
That that's the sketchy way. Um, this is also sketchy. If oh, you look at it. I haven't this seen way it. you have those like layers. This it's straight down the whole way. Okay. So what we're gonna do one at a time. Yeah. You're gonna make sure I don't die, and I'm gonna make sure you don't die. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna go first. Hand the camera to me whenever I get down. Don't throw rocks while I'm climbing. Okay. Teamwork. Yep. Teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. More than slightly sketchy. Well, I hit the water. It made a really loud noise when I hit the water. Careful. I know. So, anywhere you put your foot. Oh, yeah, this way is way sketchier. Test You're right. For grip. Yeah. First, before you put your weight down. Yeah, you're right. This other way is way sketchier. Yeah. You can easily just fall. <laughs> I'm gonna set the camera down so I have two hands to help you. If needed. After Wyatt climbed down the vertical cliff, we discovered you can just walk around. <laughs> because that's walking. Careful, Steven. Well, that was just, that was, that was congratulatory. That wasn't. I know. But still, it looks sketchy. Okay. Well, now you gotta get down here. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Um, I'm gonna come down right here. Watch, I'm gonna loosen a couple loose rocks. Oh shoot. Steven the mountain goat. Oh, this is just a straight drop. What? This is just a straight drop. Right here. Take it down. Is it a doable straight drop? Yeah. It's only like five feet. But I uh, gotta figure out how we get back up. We'll figure it out later. Oh that's terrible. Cool. Spider-Man, oh. Spider-Man does whatever a Spider-Man does. Spider-Pig, Spider-Pig. This is stupid. Wow. I did not think we were doing this. This is so cool. This is like way better of an adventure than I ever expected. Uh -huh. Look, look at the cliff over there. I know it's ridiculous. And the like the little like rocky coastline mm -hmm. and all those birds just chilling. <laughs> we definitely need to get back up to the trail before dark. Yeah. Because if this was loose, there's no way we're going down or up. Or if we go down, there's no way to go back up. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> These are the rocks we saw from the top. Yeah. G. We made it to that place that we thought okay. we were going to make it to. I know. <laughs> That's so sweet. Thought we, we made it to the place that we thought we were going to need to open a bunch of yeah. equipment to make it to. We just climbed down normally. Wow. We're climbing. Hey, Bird, how's it going? Bird's probably like, what the? <laughs> As birds often say when they're alone. Oh, look at this cliff, dude. Dang. We so that's basically what we just scaled down. We climbed that in a roundabout way. Wow. Oh my dude. Yeah, I'm gonna go pee in the ocean. Okay. Wow. Just wow, I'm gonna stand on the edge here because that's safe. Crashing waves. It's a giant crevice in this rock. Kind of strange. So much better than I ever imagined this hike being. Oh man, dude. Who would have thought? Why wants me to come? I don't know why. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dude.
just wow. This is, oh, oh, oh my god. Wow. This is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my goodness. Look how clear that water is. Like it's just a giant inlet. Giant cove. What? Oh, over there? Oh, I guess why it fell. I'm guessing that's the wet stuff that you slipped on, so we're not gonna step on the wet stuff. I'm literally, I'm, I'm tearing up, it's so beautiful. I'm not kidding either. Wow. The best views come after the most sketchy climbs. Woo! <laughs> I can't explain how large this cave is. Like. Oh my goodness, why it's disappearing into the horizon. It's getting louder, I'm sorry if you guys can't hear me as well. What? You want to see how much power the ocean has? Look over there, you get stuck in that, you're dead. What, when it hits the wall? It's where it hits the ceiling too. Wow. Watch this, so that wave's coming in. Holy shit. <laughs> and then just drop. Yeah, that's a lot, of, a lot of impact. Also, look at all the sea anemones. We're basing on a bunch of mussels and other like animals right now. And so you're kind of stepping on them. But look at the sea anemones. Wow. See all the sea anemones here? That means when the tide comes up, the water gets here. Yeah, yeah. If we aren't careful, the tide can block our path. Yeah, so what, do you know when high tide is? I have no idea, but we don't want to stay here for too long. Okay. It's all a mist, of, like, spray from that. Yeah, also we should probably, yeah, right after this we gotta, like, run out of here just in case we don't get stuck here. Yeah. But there's like mist everywhere from after the waves crashed into the cave wall. What? No. Yeah, there's mist everywhere. And like, so like when I breathe, I can see my breath. Dude, all this, so, this is so beautiful though. It's like yeah. so otherworldly, <laughs> even though it's on earth. Like I legit started tearing up Good. when I first got down here. <laughs> but then I thought, you know, we could actually die down here. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Now I'm kind of on a... Ooh, look at those. Yep. If you lick them, they shock your tongue. Are you serious? Yeah. They shock your tongue if you lick them? Yeah. <laughs> I've done it before, but I don't want to. Yeah. You've done it before? Yeah. That's why you know? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Like, just a little shock or like a... It's not a big shock. It's enough that I can feel tingling. What? Everything. Just the, like excitement of like being in a place like this the like thrill and like the danger involved so that's something i definitely do not suggest that most people do yeah wouldn't recommend this but we did it would definitely not recommend but also definitely would recommend well okay so the where we started was 800 feet up so we climbed according to like what we got is 800 feet above sea level so we climbed down 800 feet 
pretty cool. We're no longer 800 feet above sea level. No, definitely not. <laughs> but look, look how like blue green this water is. Yeah. Like it looks fake. Hey, babe, I was surprised to find that cave and I am loving it. Yeah. Also, you can see really well in there despite it. Wow, that water went up really high. Let's hurry. Yeah. There's one in the morning, but there's also usually one in the evening. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's what we climbed down. That is what we climbed down, guys. Look at the top of that. Holy crap. <laughs> What really sucks is during lifeguard training, you have to go in the waves like that and hug the rock really tight and let the waves hit over your back while you're hugging the rock and then climb out. Ow. Granted, the waves we did in weren't this big. Are you ready to head back up? Yep, or? it is 6.53, so it's about 40, less than 40 minutes until sunset. So maybe we can go up, catch the sunset from the top, and hike back in the dark. And yeah, hike back in the dark, but we can also probably get a time lapse of the sunset with this. Why are we climbing up the dangerous side? Because it's fun. Climbing up the edge here, as opposed to the middle of all the rocky things. But I actually, I actually love that, so. Oh my goodness, there's so much bird poop. Dang it, bird. Why you gotta poop? This is by far the best hike. We've done some stuff like this, like near Pacific City before. Yeah, but this is way more dangerous. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Although Ape Caves is also another really cool one, and I did do a sketchy yeah. climb in that one too. Yeah. Well, but I, that one wasn't a death climb. I was there when you did one of the sketchy climbs, because remember, we like went up that hole yeah. into the sunlight, and we had yes. to jump to get to one rock. Yes, that was the second time I did that. Oh. <laughs> that's and that funny, was and you were still, cool. and that's how you know it's hard, is the second time you're still scared to do Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I want to meditate right here. Bird doesn't like that. Nice. Wow, ain't that sketchy. I'm over here on the other side. Okay, I'm around the edge of the cliff. Birds don't like me invading their home. It's our home territory. I don't know why I'm running on the edge of a cliff. That's really dangerous. I just, that's down. <laughs> That's a lot of bird poop. What? I'm over here. Was that cliff side? I'm coming back up. Yeah? I recommend. A lot of things that I do that I wouldn't recommend. Actually, most of my life I wouldn't recommend. Just say no. Like this, this right edge of the cliff, right here. I would not recommend. I did the first flip. You said you do the second flip. Get your flip here. Ha! Ah, this cliff, you can really see into it. It kind of goes in again over there, but there's no water. Mm -hmm. But also, oh, that's a far drop right there, right where yeah. my foot was. <laughs> That'd be cool to go and explore that one, but we're not getting down there. No. That we definitely need rope for. Yeah, because there's no way to climb to it. Unless yeah, you climbed like, along this cliff and then went down. Yeah, no. But even then, it looks like you'd have to repel. Yeah. Unless there's some weird thing on the other side we can't see. Nope. I'm gonna climb up this way instead. Okay. Let's go. Dangerous things. are so fun, I just jumped up four feet. Because I do that a lot. Now I'm climbing probably too fast. Not recommended. Now, this is all dirt. How am I supposed to climb dirt with one hand? That's really not smart, Stephen. I'm gonna lie it. But it was Stephen's idea, so. Right here, hold. 
Here? I think it's farther over to the left. But if you can get up there, only do if you're comfortable. Actually, no, that is where we did. Never mind. I remember that grass patch. That's some real. That was my finger mm -hmm. was grabbing from here to. <laughs> to oh. top. Don't tell me that. I still need to do it. Well, I think I was. You probably find a better grip than me, but I was just trying to find a high one. Sorry about that guys, it died, but we got to my backpack and now it's gonna continue the climb. I'm gonna drink some water because I'm thirsty. Alright, we're back again. Um why I just said why did we do this? <laughs> this is definitely among the top ten most dangerous things I've ever done in my life. <laughs> and I've wrestled an alligator. Ow. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna climb now. Okay. Where did we go? Cotton Eye Joe. I know. You guys ready for the final climb? You're gonna join me in the backpack. Probably a rock. <laughs> well, it's all rock, so yes. <laughs> yeah, there's some grass there. Oh, I just need another rock. Here, I have one for you down here. I have one for you. You said you need another rock. <laughs> okay. Oh, I thought you were going to... Yeah, it's like I didn't know this was the top. Oh, yes. Oh, safety. Okay, so those rocks past the tree line, way at the very bottom where the, where the waves are hitting, looks, I can't like, I can't even make out the details. That's like, that's how far away it is. You're blind. Okay, but it's pretty far away. Agreed. It's like hundreds of feet. I can't believe we climbed that. Why? I can't believe we did either. Well, like, oh, it'd be, Wyatt says, it'd be really fun if we got like a rope to like rappel down this cliff. Oh, we just, just tried doing it without a rope. <laughs> Why not, you know? It worked. Well, who needs a rope? Ropes are for people who need safety nets. And sometimes it. in life, you need to take risks. Now I say that, don't kill yourself. Yeah, don't. The sun sets over there. Time to record time lapse. All right, got as much of a time lapse as we could. First we did time lapse, now we're gonna do a hyper lapse all the way back. More than she knows. Step two. Thanks guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want. There'll be a link to another video right here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on this adventure and stuff. Do you have anything to say? Um, I still think we should do a hike in California because that's where I'm flying out to in like two days, unfortunately. Yeah, this, is, yeah. The, this is the guy that wanted us to hike in California. <laughs> All right, anyways. Toodaloo. This video is probably like five hours long by now. See you guys later. <laughs>